Hello y'all, this is Brush for our Wind Dragon and welcome back to Blackwell Unbound. I still don't understand why the music's so loud. Oh no. Hold on. Why does it always mute it? I'm sure I can nurse this thing back to help. It just needs a little more time. Because now now I've got things work and that was ridiculous. She it wasn't doing the dialogue right. I keep having I finally had just to repair the Xbox game board. I'm not carrying that around. Hmm. The things I'll do for a case. Lauren's rainy day fund, zero dollars. Hmm. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. That's me, Miss Sherman. It's open! I'm back here in the kitchen! Harriet? Mrs. Sherman, if you don't mind. You from Seagram Realty? Yes. Have you got my money? I wanted to ask you a few questions first. You're welcome to ask me anything you'd like. After you give me the money. You got it? I sure do. It's about time. Give it here. Here you go. Hmm. It's all here. Sure enough. I'd say thanks if I hadn't had to fight tooth and nail to get it. What teeth, you old bat? Don't worry about it. Oh, I won't. Now, you wanted to ask me something? So tell me about yourself. Me? What do you want to know? Your name came up during an investigation I'm working on. Investigation? Don't you work for Seagram Realty? Not exactly. Ah, you just use them as a way to get to me, huh? Yes. Is that a problem? Oh, not at all. Just don't expect your money back. <laughs> She's all heart. Have you ever been to a place called Johnny Ivory's? I can barely leave this room, so no. Have you ever been to Roosevelt Island? I hardly ever leave this room, so no. What can you tell me about the construction site on 53rd Street? You've been there? How's the old place looking? It's a big hole in the ground. Ha! Can only be an improvement. I used to live there. Then Seagram Realty bought it and tore it down. Going to build something new and fancy, no doubt. Goodbye, Mrs. Sherman. Don't mention it. Oh, I worried about the cat. Hmm. <gasps> oh boy, we've got company. Can you see? Pardon? Can't you see? See what, lady? The whole of the world. Connections, patterns, pulsing with life everywhere. Oh, great. One of New York's finest crazies. Do something about this old bat, will ya? Look. I'm a bit busy right now. I don't have time for this. Maybe she could help, though. Fool! Liar! Can't you see? Um... Useless! Useless! Wow. I know. Only in New York. That broad really hacks me off. You should try flowers next time. <laughs> I'm your brother, for God's sake, talk to me. I should have did this first. Johnny Ivory's Jazz and Cabaret. It's on Bleecker and 7th Avenue. 
You up for some jazz, Joey? You mean we finally get to listen to some real music? Call it my special treat. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. I don't know much about pianos, but it seems nice enough. This place is empty. Good. The less people, the better. Hmm. This one looks interesting. Which... Photo by courtesy of Jambalaya Records. The only thing holding up that dress is fate. <laughs> Pretty girl, though. I wonder who she is. That's him. The Jasmine Ghost from the Promenade. Looks like we're on the right track. The woman is blocking the piano player. I can't see his face. Hey, mister. Yes? Got a minute? For a pretty thing like you, I got several. Huh. So what brings you here on such a sad night? I just love music. Well, how about that? I just happen to make music. It's a match made in heaven. And Lauren, what's your name? Pleasure is all mine, Lauren. You can call me C. C. You got it, sister. <laughs> is that C like the water? That's C like the chord. It's the first chord I played, and you never forget your first. Ain't that the truth? Do you know any other musicians? I do run in those circles, yeah. Any of them play here? Sometimes we get major gigs here. But me, I'm what you call the dependable type. These fingers can go all night long. Can they now? <laughs> oh jeez, make him stop. It's okay for me to talk to you like this. I don't hear anybody else complaining. A dull night, huh? You could say that. But I think it just got a bit more interesting. Is that right? These lips don't lie. You have no idea. What's the band in that photograph behind you? That picture is old, sister. It's not that old. Old enough. Before my time is on. Do you know anything about the construction site on 53rd Street? Now why would I know about a thing like that? No reason. I'm looking for info about a musician. Well, I'll try to help you out. Who is he? I don't know his name. I think he's a sax player. I know lots of sax players, sister. Big guy, kind of chubby, has a beard. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. Do you have a copy of that photograph anywhere? Nope, sorry. See you around. Anytime, sister. This one looks interesting. It's the Jasmine Ghost from the Promenade. Hmm, sounds a bit out of tune. How am I supposed to play it? I have to face facts. My piano playing days are long gone. No, I thought you could distract him. What am I supposed to do? Blow in his ear? He's not really my type. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Distract him somehow. Hmm, this one looks interesting. Okay, it's our sax playing spirit in the flesh. Take a closer look. Don't mind if I do. Whoever that is, I can't see him. Especially with such a pleasant distraction getting in the way. Jambalaya Records, huh? It's as good a lead as any. Ah. Uh, of course. And since she doesn't have the internet...
Here we go. Jumbalaya Records, 240 Essex Street. I'll jot that down. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Blackwell. I was hoping you could help me. I'll do my best. What can I do for you? Well, I... So what is this place? This? This is a music agency. Yes. We manage bands, do promotions, things like that, you know. Well, by we, I really need me. You do this all by yourself? Yep. One man operation. That's me. What sort of music do you manage? Mostly jazz and reggae. Nobody famous. Most small timers have trouble getting their foot in the door. Getting gigs in small clubs, helping with recording sessions, you know. The basic stuff that musicians don't want to deal with. You're open late. Really? Yeah, I suppose I am. I learned to work musician hours, you know. You play a gig at night and have a problem? You want someone to call? Your clients have lots of problems, do they? Don't get me started. I'm looking for a sax player. Well, I can definitely help you there. You looking for a stand-in or something more long-term? Oh, no, sorry. I'm not with a band. I'm looking for a specific sax player. Well, if he's a client of mine, I can help you. What's his name? That's the problem. I don't know. But he's in a photograph that your company took. Really? Can I see it? I don't have it. Then I don't know what to say. Hey, can you come with me to Johnny Ivory's? I'll show you that photograph I told you about. I wish I could, you know. But I have a ton of work to do. Maybe another time? Yeah, sure. Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem. Got it. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. this band? Oh yeah, I remember those guys, the C Sharps. That was the band's name? Yeah, I used to manage them. You used to manage them, but not anymore? Nah, been about eight, ten years. Time flies, you know. Okay. Hi again. Hi yourself, again. What can you tell me about the C Sharps? Oh, they were strictly lounge jazz, you know. But I saw them doing more. They really gelled, you know. Gelled? In tune with each other. And that lady had a voice like velvet. What happened to them? Don't know. They disappeared. Got them a few gigs and cut a record and that was it. Yes, they just moved on. Or just broke up. It happens, you know. Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem.
Hey, C. Hello there. Do you know anything about the C-sharps? The C-sharps? Nah. Nah, I've never heard of them. Why do I have the feeling you're lying? See you around. Anytime, sister. He already knows about this photograph. It's right behind him. It's the photo from Johnny Ivers. I was wanting to put it away. There we go. Mm. What do we have here? He's written something at the top of the sheet. Property of Cecil Sharp. Aw, how sweet. Maybe his mommy signed it for him. Cecil Sharp. The C-Sharps. Cute. Real cute. He seems to be enjoying himself. Yep. Hey, C. Hello there. Were you ever in a band called the C-Sharps? What makes you think that? Um, just the names. C-Sharp, Cecil Sharp. It's a pretty strong coincidence, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I guess. So, what's your answer? No. I know you are lying, dude. See you around. Anytime, sister. yourself again was Cecil Sharp in the band the C-Sharps Cecil Sharp C-Sharps yes I knew I heard the name from somewhere so do you remember him now oh yeah he was the band leader a genius on the piano Thanks for the help. I might be back later. No problem. Hey, C. Hello there. I want to talk to you about the C-Sharps. I said... I know what you said. And I know that you're lying. So shut the hell up and listen. I spoke to your old manager. He confirmed who you are. You spoke to Dwayne? Yes, I did. That... Fine. You got me. Yes, I used to run a band called the Sea Sharks. It was a rotten time in my life, and I'd just as soon forget it. Why are you stirring up these old ashes, huh? I have my reasons. Yeah, sure you do. About that sax player. Yeah? He's in that photo behind you. So, I know he's with the C-Sharps, and that you know him. Uh, what is this? You from that damn magazine? Magazine? The New Yorker. You a reporter? No. So who is he? You just don't quit, do you? You want to know so badly? His name is Isaac Brown. Isaac Brown? Yes. You happy now? Ecstatic. Great. What can you tell me about Isaac Brown? Him? He's a bum. A drunk, a nobody, a lowlife. He's also dead. And how did he die? Someone strangled him to death with his bare hands. Isaac must have squealed like a pig. You don't seem very upset by this. No, but last time someone asked about Isaac, it was some reporter from The New Yorker. He came along, asked his questions, then bam, Isaac's dead. Really? Yeah, so forgive me if I don't take kindly to pushy questions. Who was the reporter? I don't know. Mitchell something? Slow talker. Drove me crazy. You think he killed Isaac? I just played the piano. I don't think anything. Especially not the past. Whoever did Isaac, the son of a bitch had it coming. So please, just get out of here. See you later. Yeah.
that's not the phone book. We've already looked. We don't need. Yep, there's a listing for the New Yorker. Their main office is in Midtown. This is, I guess that's like a U.S. thing. There's a Midtown. Come on, everywhere. let's get out of here. Right behind you. There's a Midtown near me. Is that who I think it is? Oh, no. Wait, please. Do you understand? Do you feel it? Do you see it? I told you, I have no idea what you're talking about. You will. You will. I'm sorry. Is she following us? I don't know. She kind of creeps me out. Me too. I wish I could put my finger on why. Thank you for calling The New Yorker. How can I help you? Hello. Yes. I'm trying to reach a reporter named Mitchell. Let's see now. Mitchell. Mitchell. We have a Joseph Mitchell on staff. Is that him? I guess it's worth a try. Is he in? Yes, he is. Hold, please. He's not answering. Maybe I should go up there in person. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. There we go. Yes? Can I help you? Are you Mr. Mitchell? I sure am. I'm Lauren Blackwell. Well, do come in, Miss Blackwell. I was hoping that you could help me. Well, I'll do what I can. What is this regard? Are you a reporter or...? No. An independent investigator. I see. So you're not with the police. Would it matter if I was? No, it wouldn't. So what can I do for you, Miss Blackwell? So how long have you been working here? Do you always ask such personal questions? I'm just curious about the sort of work you do. I write about people, Miss Blackwell. What sort of people? Not the famous sort. Just ordinary people, like you or me. Ordinary people, like me. You find that amusing? Oh, not at all. I'd like to talk about Isaac Brown. Ah, uh, Isaac. You knew Isaac? Sort of, yes. I'm looking into his death. Really? That was almost five years ago. Why the sudden interest? Let's just say that I have a personal interest in clearing it up. So tell me about yourself, Mr. Mitchell. I beg your pardon? Tell me about yourself. Yes, I heard you. I hope you didn't come here simply to interview me. I'm afraid I'd make a poor interview subject. Do you know anything about the con a construction site? There are so many of them around. Really? I don't blame you. It happens so slowly. Buildings being torn down, new buildings going up. New York City is constantly evolving, an eternal state of rebirth. Quite unique in that respect, actually. Go back or forward 20 years and you won't recognize a thing. That's very... profound. Yes, I'm sorry. I tend to wax on a bit. Anything else you can tell me about Isaac? Why do you want to write about him? I don't want to go too in-depth. Out of respect, you understand? Sure. I was drawn to him for the same reasons I'm drawn to anybody I write about. I felt he had a story that could reach people, enrich them, perhaps learn from. Really? Miss Blackwell, spend some time talking to the poor and the downtrodden. Walk down the Bowery and speak to the half-wits and the have-nots. In one hour, you'll learn more from them than you would from a lifetime of school. So what was Isaac's story? I know he played in a band called the C-Sharps, then something obviously went wrong. What was it? Listen, have you tried asking Mr. Sharp? Yes. He's not talking. I don't blame him. He's probably feeling guilty. Guilty? Why? He has his reasons. Could you, uh, I don't know, tell me what those reasons are? I can't do that. Of course he can't. Mr. Mitchell, I need to know what happened. Listen, I don't like this. 
I don't feel comfortable talking about people without their consent. I won't say any more about Isaac or his sister. Sister? Sister? Uh, please, I'm not gonna say anymore. <clears throat> Shift. Ooh. Who was Isaac's sister? I told you, not another word. Okay. I'd like to read your piece about Isaac. Uh, well, I'm afraid I can't help you there. I never published it. You didn't? No, it seemed a bit in bad taste. Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Since when do reporters care about bad taste? Ah, you don't have a high opinion of journalists, do you? Well, you hear things. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'm well aware of the stereotype. I've written about deceased persons before when I felt it was in the public's interest. But Isaac, well, I felt the man deserved some peace. If you felt his story could reach people, enrich them, as you say, why didn't you publish the story? Listen, Miss Blackwell, Isaac didn't just die, he was murdered. Someone reached around his neck and strangled the life right out of him. That puts a bit of a damper on the story I wanted to tell. So nobody will hear the story? All my notes on him have been destroyed. Isaac's story might not have reached the people, but it reached me. Maybe that's enough. I think that's all for now. All right. You have a good night now. Cecil? What? I need to speak to you about Isaac's sister. You? That's it! You've crossed the line, sister. It was fun for a while, but now it's time for you to leave. Ooh, now you've done it. Look, Buster, I've had it up to here with this. I need information, it's stuck in your head, and I plan on getting it out. Less talk and more get the hell out. Okay, this is me, leaving you alone. You really have a way with the fellas, kid. Ah, uh, don't sweat it, his bark is worse than his bite. I know that expression. Only time a man gets a look like that is when he's hung up over a woman. Go easy on him, huh? I think he cares more about that gal than he lets on. Look what the cat dragged in. That's me. I'm like a bad penny. You loved her, didn't you? Of course I loved her. She was our heart and soul. I would've... Damn you, woman. Damn you. I just want to play this piano and forget she ever existed. Why don't you just leave me alone? You're upset. I didn't want to upset you. I'm upset. Yeah, great observation. If you're so concerned, why don't you just leave? That would make me feel much better. Okay, this is me leaving you alone. Well, that certainly worked wonders. We'll have to change our tactics if we want to get him to talk. Seriously, whatever you're doing, you can't handle it this way. I realize that, Joey. <laughs> Look what the cat dragged in. We need to talk. So what happened, C? It's very important that you tell me. All right, all right. I don't know who you are or why you're so interested, but you're never going to leave me alone, are you? No, I won't. You were in a band together, right? Yeah, we had a band. Smart girl. Then she died. Then he died. End of story. How did you meet Isaac's sister? First of all, her name was Sarah. I was looking to start a band, and I saw them perform together. She could sing like... it was magic. Such energy. Such life. Such a waste. What happened to Sarah? She got sick. Pneumonia or something. Started coughing one day and wouldn't stop. She got better after a while, but something happened to her voice. Doctor said she would never sing again. After that, the spark just went out. She hung on for a few months, but she just lost the will to live. Anything else you can tell me about Sarah? I loved that woman. Even when she lost her voice, I would have given up everything for her. Heck, I would have even let her brother live with us. I should have told her. About Sarah, 
I told you everything. Please, just stop. What was Isaac really like? That fat bastard. He was good on the sacks, but that was the end of his good points. He drank, he was violent, he was useless in every other way. But Sarah could calm him down. She was the only one. If it wasn't for Sarah, I never would have kept him around. What happened to Isaac after Sarah died? He went to pieces. What do you think? Oh, he couldn't cope. Drank way too much. Started fights during gigs. I tried to stick with him out of respect for Sarah, but let's face it. He was a big, dumb embarrassment. So you cut ties with Isaac? Completely. Told him he was a drunk and a lowlife and wasn't worth the peanuts I paid him. Which was, let's face it, totally true. What happened? He beat me senseless is what happened. Knocked me out with the sacks I bought for him. Then he became a bum. Spent the rest of his life living on the streets of Roosevelt Island. Till he got killed by some drifter. You don't know who killed Isaac? Yes, I killed him. Oh, come on. No, I did. I'm not the one who put my hands around his neck or choked him to death. But I killed him just the same. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. I know that. My brain knows that. But my heart won't listen. Anxiety is like that. Can you tell me anything else about Isaac? No, I've told you everything. See you later. Yeah. You know, all this talk reminds me of something. Sarah and Isaac would always play this song. Really? Yeah, a duet. At the end of every show. She'd sing and he'd play the saxophone? No, she'd actually play the piano, if you can believe it. She wasn't great, but she loved playing with Isaac. And Isaac loved that silly song. They never let me join them, but that was okay. It was kind of sweet, in a way. Oh well. I guess I could take this along. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you. Cecil? What? What was the duet that Isaac and Sarah used to play? Oh, that. It was just a short little thing. Isaac would just improv the whole thing. But Sarah's was always the same. With something like... After Sarah died, Isaac would play gigs, but refused to leave the stage. He'd blow on his sax playing anything that came to mind. Feet planted like a statue. He'd just keep playing? He'd play forever if I didn't get four guys to drag him off. I think... I think he was waiting for Sarah to play with him. He was supposed to finish each show with her and... Well, in his heart he refused to believe she was dead. Could you play that song again? Yeah, sure. Why not? There we go. I think I've recorded enough. Thanks, dude. I won't bother you anymore. I don't know why she walked over there. <laughs>
Hi. Sis? Is that you, sis? I've been waiting for so long. I am if you want me to be. Oh, I want you to be. I need my sis, but you're not her. My sis is dead, isn't she? Yeah. Now I'm dead, too. Yeah. I knew that. Deep down, I knew that. I just couldn't let go. I'm sorry. Is that why you two are here? To help me let go? That's what we do best. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Don't worry. Just leave everything to us. Here, just take this. Whatever you say. Hold on tight. This is the fun part. Sure, we saved him. Joey, is she talking to you? Yeah, go figure. Thank you, both of you. I only wanted to save them. Isaac told me he was killed by an old woman. Was that you? I save, just like you. Who are you? I am the Countess. Countess? Countess of what? It's the only name I know. I saved them. I helped them. I... I'm sorry. Hey, get back here. Don't just stand there. Let's get after her. She's pretty spry for an old lady. Spry my foot? You couldn't outrun a one-legged turtle with those lungs. Don't start with me, okay? Not moving from this spot until I finished my cigarette. I was just putting the dictaphone away. Oh, look, it's the couch. Every night I get to watch her snore on that thing. I have no interest in that thing. Uh, I guess I'm going to be stopping here for the time being. I had so much trouble just getting the game started where I could play it. <laughs> Repair the Xbox more recording. So I'm just going to save here and quit, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching, and this is Brushfire Wind Dragon signing off.